afternoon, good evening, welcome to Wired. If this is your first time checking out this video, you're most welcome. Wired is an online service that we're doing at this moment in time for our young people and families of Park Street Baptist Church. And if it's your first time seeing this, you're most welcome. If you're a regular member, keep walking through it with us. Thank you so much for coming back. And uh, Wired, we've been looking at uh, the fruits of the Spirit. How once we accept Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes inside of us and we get to experience love, joy, peace. And there's a list in Galatians and we've been looking at each one of them, how we get to experience these things. So in a moment, we're going to play our, one of my favourite games as a child on the telly, catchphrase. And then we're going to look at our next fruit, which is goodness. Now time for our game. We're going to play catchphrase. So in a moment I'm going to show you a picture. You have to guess what the picture is of saying, of a famous saying. I'll hold it up, give you five seconds, stick it to the board so you have a chance to catch up if there's something you don't get. For example, I might hold this up. You can see there's three foxes. One of them silver. Silver fox. That's the game. Let's start. What do we think is this one? Next one. to this one. Go oh. writing for this one. What do we reckon? <laughs> this one. Next one. Mmm, like a bit of cake. Mmm. What do you reckon? Next one. This one. Okay, so I'm gonna reveal the answers now. Starting with this one. Let me take it off. I'm going to reveal the answers now. So this one, I'm going to take it off so you can see. Catch 22. This one is 3D. 3D. This one is hot potato.
This one. World Cup. This one. Jumping in the deep end. Can you see? Jumping in the deep end. That's my favourite. Barrel of laughs. Ha ha ha. This one. Icing on the cake. This one. Say what you see. Fly fishing. Well done if you got those right. Oh, I found a bonus one. Bonus one. What do we think? I'll give you a few seconds to have a think. This is Pigs in Blankets. Fantastic, well done. It is now time for our Bible slot. And the next fruit of the spirit we need to look at is goodness. Now, goodness, the word good, we find ourselves using to describe and use in various different ways and descriptions. An example of this is an illustration. I used to play cricket in the road outside my house with the neighbours and my brother. And one day I was playing really, really well and I hit this cricket ball so well. It was probably one of my best shots I have done. And as I hit this ball, I followed, you know, carried on the movement of this shot and just posed. Because I saw this, I hit this ball, and I knew, I knew it was, it was a good shot. However, this shot quickly became not so good as the ball came down from the air as I hit it. And you watch this ball come down and down and down and hit my neighbour's car window, smashing it completely. So, was this a good shot? Initially, I'd say it was. I'd still pretty hit it pretty well. But the point is there. We use good to describe all different things. Within the Bible, it's clear what goodness and what good is. In the book of Mark, a wealthy man is talking to Jesus. And he says this in verse 10. He says... Verse, chapter 10, verse 18, he says this. As Jesus stood his way, a man wrapped him, fell up his knees and said, Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to in inherit et eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answers. No one is good but God alone. He's not letting him get away with this. He's saying, you, you missed a trick here. God is good. So when we read in Galatians that we can experience goodness, we can have the Holy Spirit express God's character in us of goodness. God is good. He sent Jesus for us so we can have his spirit, the Holy Spirit within us to experience goodness. Psalm 33 says this, For the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. His love, righteousness and justice the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. God wants the earth to experience his goodness and to be full of his goodness. And we have an advocate and experiencing and getting his goodness, the Holy Spirit. God is good and he wants us to grow in the fruit of his goodness and be like him. You find that these fruits of the Spirit, they're all linked. It's like if someone doesn't have goodness, they don't have kindness. If someone's in a line of a queue and they're getting impatient, that's not doesn't show goodness, doesn't show kindness. They might be rude to someone in their line. It's because they don't have kindness. It's because they don't have forbearance, tolerance. Because they don't have peace. They don't have peace because they don't have experience joy. And they don't have joy because they don't have love. So the fruits of spirits are specific things. And they're all linked, one after the other. You have love, you'll experience joy. You have joy, you'll experience peace. You have peace, you'll experience forbearance, tolerance. You, 
then your character will produce kindness and goodness. Ultimately, God wants to show us goodness because he is good and he wants us to be like him and to be his children forever. Romans 8, 16 and 17. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all those that are watching this video. Lord, I just pray that they feel your spirit. I pray they've come to know you more and more and more. I pray that you would give us goodness and we would experience the goodness of God. We would know how good you are. You sent Jesus into this world to live a perfect life, a sinless life, to die for our sins. And I just pray that that be on our hearts this week, that we would just look to you and experience your goodness. And I pray this in your name.